All right, so this is a uh, quick video, um, second video on web scraping with the activity that we looked at in class um, where we wanted to scrape the list of guest stars on 21 Jump Street, uh, these different tables from the Wikipedia page dealing with the list of guest stars on 21 Jump Street. And uh, we want to make a pandas data frame. Uh, one one big data frame out of the the five seasons. Um, so we're going to use the ideas from um, requests, beautiful soup, and uh, and then we're going to need to know a little bit about lists, um, at least in how we ended up approaching the web scraping. So just a quick reminder about lists. Um, we can this is a list L that we're creating that has the first five uh, integers in it. We can index things in this list according to their location. This first element is in location zero, so uh, I refer to it as L bracket zero. Um, we can grab a slice of this with uh, the colon through three, and um, we can also skip uh, every two items in the list with two colons and two. Um, and we'll end up using these ideas uh, in just a little bit. Also, just a reminder about HTML, how HTML works. Um, this is an example of a really simple web page using uh, some HTML tags, a header tag and two paragraph tags. Remember that we can add attributes to the tag. For example, this paragraph tag has a, a, an additional attribute. We're going to use these to, um, to navigate the page that we get from uh, Beautiful Soup. So to begin uh, the web scraping, we want to import our request library and Beautiful Soup library. This is the URL to the list of guest stars on 21 Jump Street. Um, and then we we go and we get all of the page information using request.get uh, pass the URL to it and um, as you can see it worked we get the 200 response back. Um, the next thing we're going to do is take this page variable that we've created and take the text of it and create a beautiful soup object that we name soup. Um, again, now we can do things with this soup object using the beautiful soup library, like look at the title uh, of the page. Um, we can also look at that as a string. We can find tags, finding the first a tag, the first div tag, um, and Next, we can use the find all. Uh, so this would give us all of the A tags. And for example, here with the A tags, we looked at the idea of maybe what we want to do is collect all of the different uh, references because the A tag is a, a hyperlink to a page. So um, if we wanted to get all of these pieces of information from this list, we can take and loop through. You notice that this is just like a list structure that we saw earlier. Um, and there are different objects, like each of these is its own member of this, uh, this set of things. So we can loop through this and extract these href tags. We'll do that using a loop. Um, uh, I just create a variable called all links and that will be this list of all things with a and then I'm going to loop through that for everything in that list all links we're going to print the uh, the href with link dot get href again like I should see everything that is within the href uh, attribute here and sure enough that seems to have worked if you look at the first three here, the href, there isn't one in the first tag. The next one is this uh, 
MW head, the next one is P search, and we have none MW head P search. And it would continue on like that. So this is just a way to that after we find a certain uh, attribute we can go through or, or tag we can go through that list of tags and fine-tune things even more um, okay but we're not interested in the uh, hrefs we're interested in tables so there is an HTML tag table if I create a variable that goes through that page and finds all of those instances of table um, you see that I have six now that's one more than I need because I know that there are five seasons of 21 Jump Street. So if I look at the HTML uh, of the page, I see that actually these tables themselves uh, are in a special kind of table called a wiki table. So I'm going to use both the table and class attribute to find everything and hopefully that gives me back um, all the tables that I'm looking for and it seems that like when I did the all tables uh, just with the table key each object in the list is a table of stuff um, this is a list of this is just the text of this first list of guest stars um, so once we pass the uh, extra attribute of um, the wiki table to it we ended up with the right number of tables five and this is a result set so we can treat it just like a kind of list object like here is the first table it has all of these it's all the html for the first seasons table um, so we can then find things within this for example we noticed that each of these table rows was within a tr tag so for example if we find all of those TRs um, I can just look at the first result of that and yeah the first row is exactly what we would expect this is the first row of the table actor character season number episode number episode title um, the third row has Reginald T Dorsey starring as Tyrell Waxer Thompson and here he is in pilot and so on so okay we're getting close and the idea was then what we can do is we can go through each of those rows and pull what's in this TD tag that each of those rows has within it a bunch of TD tags that represent the uh, individual cell entries so we can loop through for example that first table find all of those TRs and then from that we're gonna create uh, we're gonna find all the TDs and there we go so each of these now is an element in between some TD tags um, and we can easily just look at the text of those tags and we get the actor uh, the character is the next element in the list um, and if we look at a couple more of these right the first again the right table zero this is the first table we if we find all of the um, the TDs in that and look at the first one it's the actor the next one is the character they played the next one is the C so like we're going through in each this is the first thing second thing third thing fourth thing fifth thing and then it's gonna repeat so like every five um, will be an actor if we start at the beginning and go every five we're gonna get an actor if we start at the first one and go every five we'll get the character they played and so on and so on and so on so um, recognizing that that's how this information is structured after we pulled all of these TDs um, we decided to just create 
um, create empty lists for each of the tables and then we can pop those tables together. So for example, for the first season, I'm just going to create this list A, uh, an empty list, and I'm going to loop through. I used range 120 because that was how many entries there were when I found all of the TDs in that first table. In the second table, I'm going to use 135 because there's a different number of guest stars in the second season. And I can actually use, uh, later on, we pass these to the, as a general argument, to determine the length of the loop that we construct. So we loop through each of those 120 things in that first table um, and just rip the text from it. And that's going to be my everything in the first season. This will be everything in the second season. Uh, the third season, fourth season, and fifth season. Um, if we look at the last, right, like this is the last entry in each of those seasons, and it that's the last thing in the list should be the last episode. That the that should be the end of the list is the very last episode, and sure enough, that seems to be what we have. We have the last episodes of each season of Twenty One Jump Street here. Um, if we look at, if we try to look at like uh, A of 130, 131, there's not anything there, right? These lists, this list was only 120 things long. Um, but I can look at the first 20 objects in that first season list, and sure enough, here's Barney Martin, that's the actor, then Brandon Douglas, and so on. So if I look at every five of them, I get all the actors. Like we said, you skip, you go through one and then you skip five things, you get back to the other because it's like that table of values. So I can then create lists uh, from that structure. So the actors, I'm going to take every five from each of the seasons. The characters, every five starting at the first one. Season, episode, title, and if I check my actors, looks good. Now I'm going to create a data frame out of this. So I uh, bring in pandas. I uh, create an empty data frame here. Uh, DF equals PD dot data frame. That's just an empty one. And then I'll create the, uh, the columns that I want. Uh, just a reminder about how to create columns. And once I look at the data frame, looks good. Actors, character, season, episode, title. And um, if I want to check the shape, it has 129 rows and five columns. That means that uh, there are 129 different actors and actresses who guest starred on five seasons of 21 Jump Street.